Howdy there chums, it's I Captain Steve and today we're going to be riding out to do another mission. So let's uh, jump on old horsey man horsey. Hello there Ying. Right, so let's bring up the actual map. Now I've already locked in where we've got to go. It is a freaking trek and a half. It's all the way over there. So I'm going to take myself a merry little gander at the way ahead and um, I'll see you guys once I actually reach the destination. So let's just get on the track. Okay, well I've reached my track. destination, so let's start matchmaking. Here we go. So let's see who joins us on this merry little dance. And this, I think this is one of the final missions. Okay, so here we are. What a formidable motley crew. And there's me looking very motley. Motley indeed. And this chap, he looks, his eyes looks like he could just kill you just by looking at you. And her, I, I, I think the less said about her, the better. That's scary lady. But yeah, here we go. Well, the terrifying three. I love her snakeskin boots. I need a pair of... No, no I don't. No, I don't need a pair of them. Look, I'm a marshal, so my jurisdiction ends at the city limits. Even if the town in question is a no-good dump like Van Horn. I go in there, I got even less rights than you do. Any decent hoodlum knows that. Montez is in there. At least I think he is. Or some of his boys are in there. So. He's in there, Mr. Marshall, like I told you. This is Josie Dawson. He's in there or his boys are. Hold up in my saloon. We'll, we'll get your saloon back. Or they will. Well, thank you kindly. Now, the other... Right ho, so time to saddle up. And then ride on out. So we go heading over to good old Ying. Now, I did have a dead wolf on the back of my horse. I've got a wolf skin, but I did have a full freaking wolf that I shot. Yeah, because I got um, ambushed by two wolves. Cunning little wolves. Yeah, so we've got to head over to the Van Horn camp. There is a settlement just north, apparently. We've got to go there first. Take them out. Uh, we don't have to actually capture anyone there. We can kill pretty much everyone, I believe. And then head back to Davies. So here we are, heading up to the camp. Now, I should have got myself some more um, sort of rifle ammo. All I've got is a few hand cannon anim ammo, like pistol. So yeah, that's that's a lesson to be learned. Always check your ammo before you start a mission. So here I am, just sort of like walking up a hill, completely in the wrong direction. You can see that I'm, I'm supposed to be going to the, the left a bit more. There we go, towards the red area. And you can see that the uh, lady in our team has been shot and she's wo wounded. The other guy's gone to give her medical aid. Why I tried to take them out with my pistol, which um, is a bit hit and miss. More misses than hits, to be fair. And you can see there, my uh, rifle is completely out. So I've got a choice to either go punch them, murder Kate them with a knife, or continue on with my pistol. But I tried to still shoot them with an empty freaking rifle. <laughs> Oh, the noobness it never ceases to amaze. Back to the pistol. Take that, you varmint. So, there we go. Kapow, kapow. You're dead. I'm still alive. I haven't even been shot, which is lovely, which is cool. Heading over here, there's a guy to my right that um, I'm kind of... You just saw a bullet just whiz, whiz past me. But I'm more intrigued with this guy. So, I'm going to take this guy out. He's already been shot by one of the, my other party members. Swing around, and there's the other chap there who's been taking pot shots at me. He's, he's down. He's dead. You can see that the lady in our group is going freaking mental, just taking people out, which is nice. I'm going to go loot a few bodies. I'm hoping to find rifle shells. I don't. I'm rifling through. Don't find any rifle shells. So, yeah, a bit of a bit of a shitter. But I did find a silver buckle. Not that I've worked out how to equip said silver buckle yet. I think you do it back at your camp and buy your actual tent. But I am planning to go to a tailor's, and I have watched a video, some sneaky videos, where if you hold down L2 or something while you're actually viewing something and keep it held down, and then go to your catalogue, pick something really cheap, you get to have two things for one. Buy one, you get one free. Heck yes, you buy one, you get one free. Yeah, so I'm going to be trying to do a video on that. I'm going to see how I get on. Um, with that, probably later today. Maybe, hopefully, yeah. I don't know whether both videos will drop on the same day. I'll probably save one for Monday or Tuesday or something. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, back to my horse. You can see here that my um, compondres have waited for me, which is very kind. Nice one. That doesn't happen often, does it? It really doesn't. But I think it's because she's got my horse, I've got her horse. And I have no idea how she managed to get my horse to go so freaking fast. Because look, my wolf skin isn't on the back. And when we run, we get back to Van Horn, I'm fairly sure my horse is there. So, 
I have no idea what happened there, but I ended up on this sandy coloured horse rather than my white and black ying, which um, was a bit of a shame. I swapped horsey and horsies. So we head back down to Davies. We go talk to him, and uh, yeah, he tells us where we've got to go to next. But first, we have like a little street fight. So here we go. There's my horse. I just saw my horse. It was parked over there. I say park, hitched, whatever. I just ran that one straight into a freaking bench. Back to my lovely little trusty pistol. Um, who's that guy? Yeah, I don't think we need to kill him. He's unarmed. Um, yeah, so he's, he's cool. He's cool. I think this is the bit where we've got to run people out of the saloon. So I think that's what's happening now. So yeah, it does say down at the bar bottom there. Take out Master. was well, somebody. I can't really read that from it. There we go. We've got to take him out. So <laughs> it does help if you can freaking read the text on the screen. It's the red bit that I can't read. Yeah. So yeah, here we go. I'm taking out a few people. And I'm trying to find more rifle shells. Maybe I have to have the rifle equipped to actually get shells for it. I don't know. It could be a thing. Not too sure. But I will have to just, I'll just go to an ammo shop and buy some soon, I guess. Maybe, you know when you actually posse up, there's a menu on the side. I'm wondering... Is that side? Right? Probably is. But there's, yeah, there's, there's a menu. And uh, I think maybe you can go in there and maybe get a bit of ammo. Maybe I should have done that before I hit ready. <laughs> Just an idea. Just not. You live. You live by mistakes. Don't you? you learn by mistakes. I should say. You shouldn't live by mistakes. But I tend to. <laughs> so there we are. There we go. So um, I've, I've looted a fair few. I managed to keep my pistol ammo up. So I, at least that's a thing. You know, I, I, I'm still shooting people. I'm still being proactive. If you want to call it proactive. And yep. So off we go. There's some lovely horses there. Maybe I should just nick one of those horses. Taking it back to my stable and own that thing. That was a nice brown and white one, they see that? Maybe I should just go out and nick a horse in my next episode. I don't know. Maybe get some new clubber, or maybe get a new horse. Not too sure. But I have managed to do my kinship with my horse all the way to Max. So I, I do like good old Ying. I'm growing rather partial to Ying. He's a good horse. Anyway, so here we are. Where we trekked a freaking mile on foot. I don't know why we went so far on foot. But I called my horse in the end, and then um, I started following my actual compadres to only but see one of my compadres coming back to me in the distance. You can see them on the map. They're sort of just sort of staying still at the moment, but they start heading back towards me. Look at all those turkeys. If I wasn't in a, in a, a mission, I probably would have killed those because, yeah, there's often daily missions to kill a beverly bird and season it. There you go, look! And look! <laughs> she's got one of the guys already! She's warrior this lady she's just taking everybody out but there we are she's pretty much done the mission pretty much on her own at this stage however in a bit we're gonna have to go back to see the actual marshal so we're heading back over there now to go see good old marshal and once we get to the marshal i think lady in our group just stays at the marshal's camp i don't think she does anything else although she has been pretty much a one lady army up to this point hasn't she? she she's pretty much run this mission and done pretty much everything so she deserves a rest yeah she's on the sandy horse so she must have had mine earlier she rode it like the freaking wind she was yeah i have no idea how she managed to get that much speed on my horse but here we go let's head on over and we're gonna this is when the marshal tells us that we have to capture this guy alive so yeah yeah do that don't kill him um now, there is like four different carriages, three or four different carriages that you've got to take out. So this was quite difficult. Okay, so that's pretty much all the carriages down, bar the last one. So if I can just get around this, head over to the last carriage. That ah, matey boy in my group, killer eyes, he's already en route. He's already going out there to pay them a visit. But I'm going to cut across this grass. I've got a sneaky idea to stop this carriage by shooting one of the horses in the head. I know that's a little bit... It's a little bit drastic, isn't it? I could just shoot the rider, I guess, on top. Um, but yeah, I, I think Matey Boy just shot the rider on top. And I just crashed into the carriage. The guy jumps out the side. He's freaking legging it. My Matey Boy is chasing him. This is like something out of Monty Python. <laughs> Where's my horse gone? You can see the sheriff just sort of watching on. Sort of, oh, what, the, what the hell just happened? And you can see the guy over there with the uh, lasso. He's managed to catch the guy. He's hog tying him in the background all uh, uh, that way. Yeah, over there. <laughs> He's hog tying him. I'm just getting back on my horse. I've done very little in this mission. Uh, pretty much like the last one. I've just been shooting the odd person and looting them. There you go. He, he tries to put him in the carriage. I think the idea what he, what he wanted to do was actually take the carriage back, which 
does give us a bit of added protection. It does kind of make sense. But in the end, he just opts for chucking him on the back of the horse like we're supposed to do, which is perfectly fine. And now we have to um, run this back down to the drop-off point, which is great. Nice. Easy. Fantastic. Come on, Ying. We're going to go. Let's go. Let's go follow Matey Boy. And we'll go take this guy back to um, camp. And hopefully everything's good. Now, I believe you can smack these people in the head to knock them out. And I think that's what he just done then. I just saw his hand go down. Bang. But you can kick them in the head while they're on the floor when you've got them hogtied. Although I've tried that in the past and killed them somehow. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> still learning. Still learning. Okay, so here we are. We're, we're getting them back now. So let's uh, let's go back to the cutscene. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alfredo Montez. It's been quite a time chasing you, my friend. I know you. I will kill you. I think that's unlikely. A whole lot more likely is you're gonna have your neck broken while well, these folks here watch and laugh and say what a nasty bastard we you were. We shall see. A thousand dollars to whoever sets me free. Well, these folks here have something money can't buy. <sighs> Honor, dignity, and a sense that not everything is for sale. And they are as foolish as you. Well, they are. But they're still getting paid a fair price for a job well done. Well, there, chums. Well, that sort of sorts out that one. Yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah, look at that little reward dance. Yeah, let's uh, really kick into it. Go, go, go. Oh, look at that. It's like the Macarena, but um, shitter, isn't it? So, so there we go. So that's that one. So thank you very much, guys, for um, uh, watching. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice of you. So, yeah, yeah, thanking you. Thanking you, people. Thanking you. Awesome. So until next time, you guys have been great. I've been Captain Steve, and um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. Goodbye. I'd like to say a massive thank you to all of my Patreon backers, thanking you, and all those that back me on YouTube membership, thanking you. And if you want to grab yourself a fine and dandy pair of socks or a mug or a T-shirt, I have merch. Check that out. Or just hit something on this screen and stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer. Thank you!